Hello, my name is Yulia and this is my fiber art video blog. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm here today to show you two pairs of socks. I'm experimenting with different types of spinning uh, for socks and these both uh, pairs are neat using cable yarn. Uh, the reason I'm showing you two pairs because they are both uh, hand spun and hand knit using the same uh, uh, similar similar uh, spinning fiber. This is lily and pine fiber arts blend and this is 60% merino, 30% bamboo and 10% nylon blend. And uh, they are only um, different colorways. The reason I'm showing you uh, these two pairs, both of them took almost the same amount of fiber. These both uh, braids were uh, almost uh, four ounces of fiber. One pair using a little bit leftovers from another pair and it's actually hello kitty and this is actually interesting because this pair which is a little shorter actually is using a little bit of yarn which i had left after knitting this pair the reason it happens uh the reason it happened actually is that uh, this pair is neat with a little bit thicker yarn. So when I was hand spinning, I spun my singles a little bit thicker for this uh, pair of socks. For this pair, I used uh, this color combination in the braid. And for this pair, I used this color combination in the braid. First, about this pair. This pair is neat using, uh, sorry, this pair was spun using four bobbins for the singles and I divided my braid uh, into four long uh, parts approximately um, similar by weight and I spun both, oh, not both, I spun uh, all four of them from the same colors uh, to the same color. So I used four same sequences in colors for both pairs and then I was plying two bobbins and two bobbins and when I was plying them, uh, I added some extra twist. Actually, starting speaking about my singles, for both pairs, I was planning to use the yarn for knitting, so I knew I needed to spin my singles in the S direction, rotating my drive wheel uh, counterclockwise, and I gave the singles normal twist, like for regular two-ply yarn, let's say. And then I applied uh, that single um, in the Z direction. I was rotating my, uh, my drive wheel in the uh, clockwise uh, direction and I inserted double twist compared to normal uh, two-ply yarn. When I got that, then I applied those two two-plied yarns into my cable yarn and I was rotating my drive wheel in uh, the counterclockwise direction and I was plying them uh, one more time with normal twist this time and I was plying the S direction, counterclockwise drive wheel uh, rotation. For these ones, I was using four bobbins for my singles, same color sequence and the reason the socks are not the same color, uh, I have a little more blending of colors here compared to this socks. I blame myself and my consistency. That's the only reason for that. 
and when I was spinning singles for these babies I was using just one bobbin and uh, I uh, then I winded on a, a cake center pull ball and I applied that single from one cake uh, into over twisted, uh, twice over twisted uh, two ply yarn. And then I made another center pull ball and I applied it again with normal twist. That's how I created uh, this pair of socks, the yarn for this pair of socks. I divided my braid for this pair of socks the same way I did it for this pair. So I took a braid and I got four long uh, stripes of fiber uh, uh, and I braided them again. But why I did it? Because I wanted to have the narrower sections of different colors. And also my goal was to combine the colors or to keep the colors as sharp and as much separated as I could. Actually, it's, it's not too bad. Still, this sock is a little more blended compared to this one. And when I was combining uh, the colors on my four thin braids for this pair, I was using, let's say, if I have a uh, turquoise violet, turquoise violet braid, the next braid I would start uh, violet, turquoise, violet, turquoise. My third braid I would start same as my first one, turquoise, violet, turquoise, violet. And then my fourth braid was violet, turquoise, violet, turquoise. It was my uh, one bobbin single. Then, when I got my uh, center pull ball, I got one end was turquoise, one, uh, the other uh, end was turquoise, and approximately in the center, if my consistency was ideal, I would have turquoise as well, because I had that uh, combination turquoise and violet uh, from turquoise to turquoise, it, with turquoise in the center, ideally folding it together uh, I would have turquoise on this uh, end and turquoise on this end. And then I was folding, I was plying it again. Uh, and uh, with my second ply, one end was supposed to be turquoise and another uh, end was supposed to be uh, violet. But consistency went a little off. And also, uh, it's not only the consistency, it's also how you divide the braids. Uh, I found that actually dividing braids into two parts is not a problem. But for me, all the time when I divide the fiber braids into uh, three or four sections, I find that sometimes those braids, I guess during dyeing, uh, in, in the process of dyeing, they get a little twisted and when you divide it in two halves along the braid, it's okay. But when I am trying to divide each braid into two parts, sometimes for me it's, tr it's tricky, not very easy to keep the consistency of the thickness of the unspun fiber of the braid. So sometimes I get more color uh, in one braid and less color, same color, a little bit less in a different uh, part of the braid. And sometimes the fibers stick to one part of the uh, uh, ribbon when I'm dividing the braid into four ribbons into four parts. So it's a little bit tricky for me. So the braids were not ideally uh, divided. And also it's a hand-dyed, beautiful hand-dyed fiber. And with hand-dyed fiber, that's what I like. They are, cannot be 100% predictable. It's a beauty of hand-dyed fiber and it's fun and it's, it's really nice. So with these pairs, they were worn uh, for a few times, for a few days. And at some point, 
years back i used to wash my wool socks every time i wear them and i would help my family members who i don't always trust to wash hand knit hand spun socks so i i volunteered to help uh, i used to wash uh, hand knit socks after each wear recently i allow my socks to be worn twice or three times depending on how how they feel sometimes if if my feet don't sweat too much i can wear my socks for three days uh, before uh, washing them so these socks were worn this pair was worn uh, in increments of four days uh, were uh, washed uh, after three four days these socks were washed uh, every two three days and as we know cable yarn uh, is quite durable not only uh, because it's a four ply yarn uh, which would be quite strong and a few uh, singles combined together they don't wear out that easily also, it's a construction of that uh, four-ply yarn. Uh, that four-ply yarn, which you ply in one direction and then in the other uh, direction, falls into a chain looking or a lace, like a shoelace, uh, round shoelace looking uh, yarn. That yarn has more solid surface and it doesn't wear out uh, in one spot until the uh, one of the stra uh, strands break. It wears out more evenly and it takes longer to, I don't know if it's the right uh, word to say, to eat through a sock wearing it. So cable yarn is a very good option for those who uh, for those who don't mind to spin four singles for their socks. And actually, both ways, if you ply from uh, four bobbins or if you ply from one bobbin, both ways are I like a lot, but prefer for me, I prefer one bobbin uh, cable spinning for socks and normally uh, bobbins are okay to hold four ounces of uh, single and four ounces of yarn so this way to spin and ply socks I mean spinning one bobbin uh, plying from center pull ball uh, onto one bobbin then plying that again onto the same bobbin from a center pull ball mm. it's a really really nice way to to spin for socks but both ways are good with this pair i had uh, one bobbin left over and uh, all three other ones were almost identical and i guess that bobbin which was a little bit of inconsistency i went too thin uh, that bobbin i applied from center pool ball twice I had a small ball of yarn and that leftover yarn went for the toes. I used it for the toes for these socks. I hope that you are enjoying spinning your sock yarn, you are enjoying knitting your socks. If you'd like, you can share uh, your knitting projects you have uh, on social media, on Ravelry, for example. If you post a link to uh, your projects, I would be happy to see uh, what you are spinning, what you are knitting. And I, have, uh, I hope you have fun with spinning, knitting and all your fiber art projects. Take care.